Yep. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Here's Arthur with his new Iguana Big Valley hat, direct from the Trapper. He is in Chapter 3, but the Trapper is happy to make you the hat in any chapter, provided you have the necessary ingredients. The hat is interesting because it resembles Micah's hat, and also the Legends of the East hat. Here's the Legends of the East hat for reference. If you're wondering how I got Arthur the Legends of the East outfit, this is an early playthrough where I used version 1.0 to sneak into New Austin for Horseman 9 and 10 and Herbalist 9. The Legends of the East hat is called the Good Big Valley Hat. And here's dumb Micah's dumb hat, for reference. Someone in the chat during the premiere called Micah's hat the Legend of the Rat Hat. I wish I could remember who said that, but whoever you are, I salute you, friend. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Moderator and founding member of Team Mohawk, Helen Tunnicliffe, mentioned this trapper hat in the comments and quickly posted a video on her channel. I get my best ideas for videos from your suggestions and observations in the comments, and I'm really proud of the community and fellowship we've built here. Thanks for finding my channel, and say hi to Helen if you see her in the comments. She's here to help. Moving on. We do need a perfect cow pelt and a perfect iguana skin for this hat, so let's go do that. You all right, girl? Emerald Ranch is a great resource for cows, but I find there's way too many witnesses for my comfort level. Oh, but here's a stray buttermilk buckskin Kentucky Saddler just asking to come home with us. But we're here for hats, not horses, so we need to leave him be and move on. I prefer Carmody Dell for cows. Here's our location. We already have a relationship with old Bob Crawford, Seamus' cousin, by marriage. He's almost like an old friend by now. In retrospect, I wish we had just lassoed this NPC, but Arthur really wanted to field test his new volcanic pistol, and I wasn't interested in getting any stray bullets in this new pelt we had just taken. And then over to the trappers. Okay, let's take a look at it. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes. Here's the hat we want. It's only $14, but we do need an iguana skin, which he will use to craft the hat band. And I'm liking those gold coins. Very distinctive. 
We need to get over to those islands, and we could borrow one of these canoes that someone conveniently abandoned here, or if you have a strong enough horse, you can just swim it. Yeah. This is a great location for snakes. There's one. Maps are forthcoming. Calm down. We have to swim over to the next island. You okay, girl? Good work. Yep. You will find iguanas all around the shore. Here's one. And here's your map as promised, directly west of Clemens Point. Let's call this Iguana Island. Back to the trappers we go. There, girl. And look at this lovely wild leopard blanket Appaloosa we're not chasing on our way to the trappers. It's so easy for Arthur to get distracted in this game. Glad to see you again, sir. Alright, let's have a look. Pleasure doing business with you. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. And here is your new hat. And here's the Legends of the East hat again. All things being equal, I think I like the Trapper's hat better. Those gold coins really sell it for me. And here's Micah again, in case you forgot what his hat looked like. Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm. And I've often wondered whether Dutch really said that. Maybe Dutch said he'd known Arthur since he was a sapling, and look how he's grown into a big tree with a big shadow. And then Michael went and twisted his words to sow dissension and drive a wedge between Arthur and Dutch. It also makes me wonder what Micah has been saying to Dutch about Arthur. I do hate Micah. I love his jacket, but I don't ever think I could let Arthur wear it because I hate Micah so much. I thought you was a tough boy, <laughs> not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, 
we most surely were ignorant of.